What is socabulary? It's sewing vocabulary. It's the words and phrases that you as a sewist should know when you begin sewing. So let's get learning. This fabric has a warp and a weft. Yeah, well, what does that even mean? Warp, AKA grain. Warp threads are the threads that run parallel to the selvage or up and down. Weft, AKA cross grain. Weft threads run from selvage to selvage or right and left. Are you biased? Bias? I'm not biased. Are you biased? I'm not biased. I'm not biased. I'm not biased either. Can you just tell me what you mean by bias? Bias. The true bias refers to a 45 degree angle that intersects the warp and the weft of a woven fabric. It said to discard the selvage of the fabric, but do you think that meant to salvage the fabric? Nope, selvage refers to the edges of raw fabric that run along the edge with the grain. Fabric has a selvage edge so that it doesn't fray before it's sold. Pay special attention to the nap. Pay special attention to the nap. Okay. All right, nap, We're paying special attention. Nap, the texture of a fabric with the raised fibers of the fabric going in a particular direction. There is a right way and a wrong way. First create a muslin. I don't think that sounds right. Muslin, sometimes called a toile, a muslin refers to a test garment sewn from cheap fabric or scraps so you can check the fit of the garment. Hey, what did you say the WOF of that WIP you were working on that you needed more fabric of was? The WIP? Oh, the UFO. It was 50 inches. Was that CLBLFT or what was the other one? Did you mean quilting cotton? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that. I'll be right back. If I was able to teach you something new, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. And if there are any words or phrases that you don't understand, let me know down in the comments. I'd be happy to help you out or make a new video explaining it for you. In the meantime, why don't you pop on over here and check out more of my sewing tutorials and book inspired sewing projects. And please subscribe to my channel for future installments of my bookish sewing goodness, including more Sewcabulary. We'll see you next time.